I could have skipped this whole part where I went back to the save point, but I didn't. Oops. It should be fine now. Just as long as I don't run into any Washuas and freaking errands. Oh, please. enough to make it worth anything. That is not worth anything. Oh, I need so many nice creams. Ooh. You hear me? Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Ooh, I can't wait to hear what the, what the wish is. It's probably something about I wish to be with you forever. Power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Understandably, I mean, if something can take your sandwich. It's a pretty strong thing to be able to do. Oh, what the fuck is that? I'm not a fan. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun here. Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Just even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... Uh, that's okay, though. You hear? Und Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? Uh, I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Oh, baby... Right there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. No, he wasn't so scary after all. Crap. What the hell are you? Sharon, tone deaf. Too ashamed to sing her deadly song. What? Aaron, what the fuck is Aaron doing? Maybe Aaron has a crush. Where's her face? I can't really tell what I'm looking at. Oh, there's her face! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I regret everything! It's a great treasure. Does it? I feel like that's a trap. A haunting song like this. Would you play along? What do the first aider find? There's a piano here. Play it? Yeah, even though this usually means bad.
probably some kind of song deciphers it, but I don't know what it is. Let's check the lock through. Hmm. Oh. I guess maybe I'm not far enough. His power is no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species monster called a boss monster. Boss monster still has souls strong enough to persist after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. This has never happened. Now it never will. Why? Why won't it ever? What am I supposed to do with that? Please take one. Hold on. I know just what to do with this. Hey! I don't know how to play that. How do you play this? Oh, it says right there. Thank goodness for walkthroughs. I probably don't need to play it, probably, right? isn't working. Why? Oh. I screwed it up the first several many times. Legendary artifact. Will you go and take it? Yes. I'm carrying too many dogs. I. I. What? No white dogs. Fast sleep. Oh. Oh, I want to get rid of the dogs, though. Guess I gotta. Oops. Dogs ruin everything. That's what this game has taught me. Dogs ruin every. What the shit is this? I don't know if I want that, but I have it. I want a save point, that's what I want.
I should be fine. I have a bunch of healing items. Wait, what's my HP? <sighs> really weak. I should be fine. Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Ha. Huh. Oh, we should date. We look like we're the same age. Let's go! Precious babe. Man, Undine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> Should I beat you up though? Just press the bed. Why do you keep falling behind? What's wrong? So, one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dremour, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. They got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. And what? That was that was the end of your sentence? <laughs> I thought you were gonna come. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Really, because she hurt you. Pretty sure yours is Precious innocent baby. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, cute. This is cute. It's like a starry sky. Hey, come back, babe. What is it? Kissing your forehead. Can't talk to you? Okay. Hey, come here, let me protect you. Yo, this ledge is too steep. Yo, you want to see Undine, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Yo, you aren't going to be able to climb with an umbrella. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh, babe. <gasps> Say boy. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The sound of a music box. It fills me with determination! In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters. Too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Whoa, 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 what's happening? I don't like it. Is it Undine again? Oh yeah, oh yeah it is. No, no, no!
I do? My save? Oh, I am the opposite. That's actually probably the best thing that could happen. Sounds like you came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here! Get up! Ari, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Huh. Ugh, imagination, huh? There must have been something that happened in the past. Piles of garbage, there are quite a few brands you recognize. Haha! <laughs> Fuck, I just wasted an ice cream. Oh. Piece of trash to flow through. You fall into the bottom of some bits below. Means in a cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Really? Can't believe I wasted an ice cream. That is unfortunate. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. That was despair. A beat up desktop computer, the inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. I want to, but I'm carrying too much. How much does it do? Astronaut food. <gasps> For feeding a pet astronaut. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Weird. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. Stare into each other's eyes for a What? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. What? But that dummy that I destroyed at the beginning, I re I restarted the game. It was it's fine, I didn't attack it the second time. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I'm really bad at conversation. Whoa! Is there a ghost? Physical attacks will fail. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Oh. What do you Oh, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Attacks is Doesn't seem much of a conversation. Can I spare this guy? I'm like, easy. Oh. Okay. It's not gonna affect anything. I'm gonna send you this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Wait, did you say you use my soul to cross the barrier? Oh! But you're dead! Oh, 
wait until I'm a little more hurt. Wait, did you say it smells like a clothing store? I'll stand in the window of Fancy Star. After this, I'll be able to take more astronaut food. And everything I want will be mine! Ah! Avenge my cousin. What? Oh no. What was her name again? That's horrible. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, whatever. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Futile, futile, futile. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired, you're all being replaced! <laughs> now you see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Oh, shit. You can still talk about this? Nope. Dummy bots, magic missile! Oh, crap. <laughs> This sucks. Fighting sucks. It's so hard. Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I get knives! Look! I'm out of knives. Oh, but it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever. Forever! <laughs> Forget it, I'm out of here. It's you. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Oh no, come back, babe. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy, it's fine. No worries, just sort it off for you. 
I'm glad he didn't immediately take me because I need I need astronaut food. No, I need all my all my. Mm. right here. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. I never did get to reach that duck. Oh, <gasps> the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Except the bird's offer. No, 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 I need, I need, I need, I need. This house. What? 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 It's a living. Me? You? Who? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Good, because I really didn't want to go inside there. Well, what did you? What did you want to say? What? 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 It's a living. Oh, it's a living, not it's a living creature. North. Blue, Blue Acres, East Hotland, something teamy village. Oh, dude. Toriel does not know about this place. She won't answer either. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. No! Snail, snail. Long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizon. Snail, snail. So, snail is Sam Buell. I keep saying Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. Awkward, I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I am the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Snail races. Do so you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's tin. Okay. Okay. Pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh. How do I win? I can't. Much, but make yourself home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. You don't. You don't have anything to do. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. He took a bite of the ghost sandwich. He phases right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Are you hitting on me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. 
So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Computers, internet browsers, open to music sharing form. Is, oh my god, yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, I thought I was hoping. So he's labeled Ghoul Day Music. Play it? Yes. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. God damn right. Dang. That ambience. So my whole body is being spooked. I, I hope these are on the freaking stupid edition of the soundtrack. Like, please tell me that they're on there. Oh, classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Alright, I'll see you. Oh my god, it's staying in play. What the heck is that music? I, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. You're so scared, why do you keep thinking? These wings are fear! Forget it, speed is too filthy. Whoa, whoosh, wait, don't leave me! Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please stop, I'll, I'll never creep again! Ah! Yeah, this music has its good points. I'm good. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Let me talk to you first. Actually, let's see what we got. Cloudy glasses. Invincible. What? Five defense, minus five defense. What should I do? These don't look like good things. Talk. Tell me about yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. <laughs> eh? You don't know what that is? What, they, what are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom? The monsters. Wahaha. <laughs> Great name, huh? This is I always say. King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. That emblem's actually pre that emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circles above symbolize something else. Most people say it's the angel from prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. A uh, legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking about a bleaker outlook, calling it that winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call him Dramoor? Why do I call Dramoor Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Oh, come on. Undine? Yeah, she's local here all around here. 
Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. I might just save your hide. That <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my junk and not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the teeny village is your best bet. Where is it? I remember. Well, there, we got some neat junk for sale. Be careful out there, kid. Well, I don't attack anyway, so. Nothing here. Just here. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings of the powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse this spell. A huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. But this cursed place... This cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Excitable. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh no. Why, I'm Timmy. Jesus. Oh. It didn't help anything. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. How am I supposed to fucking? I just survived. Hmm? What happened? Did I turn backwards? Where's the rabbit? <gasps> Crap! This was not what I was expecting to happen. Oh no! He's not happy about it! Hug! Ooh. to make you leave me alone. No! Crap. 
crap, I'm still using the ballet fucking shoes. I'm not sure if I saved before or after that ghosty. I'm not sure if doing any of this is gonna like trigger something. Timmy. Timmy. Crap, crap! How am I supposed to avoid that? to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. See anything? I don't like this. Behind you? No. Seven. Seven human souls. I have seven human souls. Our king, King Asgore Dremur. Oh fuck, that's who he is. Will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh, boy. Undine, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undine is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't gonna tell my parents about this.
here. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Finally, I get to hear the end of this conversation. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. I would like a say point soon. I would like a say point now. Yo! She didn't take you home? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I, I mean, when Dean told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. <gasps> Babe! Wait, help! I tripped! Yo, dude, if, if if you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, haha. <laughs> we just had to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. But my parents are worried sick about me. We were punched by Nadine. I don't know how you survived that. Later, dude. Precious babe. Hmm? Oh. Can't believe that was all it took to get Undine to leave me alone, though. What a stroke of luck. I don't want to go in there. Oh, no. Uh Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Oh shit, story time. No. You know what? <laughs> Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? <gasps> you. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Elvis's history looks made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your really good two shoes, stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. We're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Shape how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> not ready! I'm not filled with determination, you lie, text box! That's it then. 
No more running away. Here I come. Crap, crap, crap. On guard. I need to know. Happy ending. This isn't so bad. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Oh, 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 okay. I got it. I'm okay. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Enough warming up. Warming up. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I didn't know she was gonna do that. Yeah. Get away from me, woman! Get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past Asgore. <laughs> Killing you now is an act of mercy. <laughs> so stop being so damn resilient. This is the best I've ever done in any battle. This is the easiest the battle system has ever been. <laughs> What the hell are humans made out of? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh my, oh goodness, oh gracious, oh fear of sticks. Oh. Bye! No, 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 no! You've escaped from me for the last time! This told me humans were determined. See now what she meant by that. But I'm determined too. Motherfucker, that's difficult. Determined to end this right now. Right now. Right now, <laughs> okay. 
Hey, the cinnamon bunny. Oh, the Die already, you little brat! <laughs> hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undine should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Peppers! Stop running away! Up. I know that feeling, girl. I know that feeling. Climbed many a mountain, many times. With tons of grocery bags in my arms. And no one ever gave me water, so I will be that water for you. Good thing that water place is right there. Where are you going? That's all it took? I'll take a cup of water. Can I drink it? I don't think I can. Oh. Cup evaporated. I'm filled with determination. Sorry, Indian like told us there was totally human in the area, so like us real guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undine. No, no, no. Crap, which way should I go? I'd love to ride in my boat, would you care to join me? God damn right it would. Uh... I don't know. Waterfall, I guess. tra -la -la, what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. I don't get it. I don't understand your joke. Also, this is the point of this place. Come again sometime, tra la la. I'll go hang out with the ghost again just to make sure that I did. This is not the ghost house. so I didn't hang out with them. Oh, classic spook tune. Did I already? I already did, okay. Oh, the human arrives! You ready to hang out with Undine? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Okay. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Peppers. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? 
You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... We, why don't you two come in? <laughs> yeah, Dean. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie dipsy, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? E yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'll never be your friend. Now get out of my house! Dang, what a shame. I thought Dean could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. And she's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Peppers, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with you a whims- a wimpy- bleh. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're gonna be... besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Normally he nails the landing. You play piano? One time, Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Gosh darn right, I'm gonna look at the bone drawer. <gasps> Fish teacup. This oven is some kind of top of the line MTV MTT thing, but you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Yes. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? She's smart, huh? Do I get to meet this girl? I hate cold food. So Alphys has fixed up my fridge so it heats up my food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention. There's so much room. There's forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Jungle Packers. So nice to have you over! Why not take a seat at the table? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Oh! Hey, don't get up. You are the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. Sickly yellow liquid. Soda. 
Hot chocolate. Green silver. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Uh, Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? Really? That rules! I just can't ruin things for her. Tea, huh? Coming right up! Take a moment for the water. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. It's burning. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Mm. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. It's Ascor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it. You kind of remind me of him. He about total winnies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried! I couldn't land a single blow on him! And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Papers? But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could have never sent him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Peppers. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! What? I... I... That's right. Nothing has brought Peppers and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you this lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! Strong. 
punch those vegetables full force. You know what? Knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Just, we'll just we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. I'm gonna be careful. One at a time. Thank you, Steve. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. General rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, shit. Stir harder! Stir it harder! I'm get it harder! No, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now we the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's stir it. Symbolize your passion. Put your hopes and dreams to a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. What? Go oh. home. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too. sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. But if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. You'll finally match all our insides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Scared. What the hell is the hold up? Come on already! What's getting on in here? Well, how many times do I have to do this? There you go. What? That's the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saturating shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. And that's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Peppers. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? 
since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, poor house. Sounds like only fire lives here now. keep playing, but I gotta go to bed. Stuff to do in the morning, unfortunately. 